Everyone wants to hack some YouTube growth, right? And I've got a few secrets. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my five secrets to growing a YouTube channel. That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello, and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here and you're looking to start your YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. YouTube growth is this epic thing that everybody hunts for. It's that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Now, I'm here to help you hack that growth. I mean, after nearly six years of being on YouTube, you'd think I'd pick up some tricks that don't leave me tired, so. I thought I'd pull a few together for you. But before I deep dive into how I can solve your YouTube creator insomnia, I want to know, do you have any personal tricks? Do you have any things that you do that you find other YouTubers don't do? Is it commenting? Is it liking? Is it sharing? Is it communicating on forums? That kind of thing. Please leave a comment down below. Now these are my tips on how I grow my YouTube channels and my clients' YouTube channels over time, so hopefully they will help you. So number one, help people. This channel started around about a year ago. I've got 150 odd tutorials on here, all of which are how to this, why to do that. All are helping you. I have deliberately gone out of my way on this channel to answer all of those frequently asked questions that you would expect from this niche, from this hobby. So in this case, if I'm teaching YouTube, I go to the search bar, I type in how to YouTube, and then whatever autofills, how to YouTube thumbnail, how to YouTube edit, how to YouTube custom channel URL, I've deliberately gone out my way to answer those questions. I've also then answered any questions that people have then left in my comment sections, but I ask first. If you ask me questions, then I can answer them for you. But also, if I ask you questions, hopefully I'll get some feedback that I then know how to make videos on. But you can do the same no matter what niche you happen to be in. If you play a specific game and they ask, how do you get that game? How do you do that armor? What's the best thing to build in Fortnite? You can help them. Or if you're a beauty vlogger and they're like, well, where do you get that makeup from? Is it vegan friendly? Is it animal tested? That kind of thing. Once again, you can ask them. Or you can create some form of top 10 list, top five, vegan, animal-friendly makeups that you can use. Two, reply to all comments. Now, this is possibly my secret weapon that I, I always used when I first started this channel, right? If someone's come to your channel enough to reply, to leave a comment, to put some form of like on there, they want to engage with you, so reply to them. Maybe even ask them questions. Keep them rolling, keep the conversation going. Because every time they come to you, every time they comment, every time you reply, it adds another another reply to the video, which is more statistics for YouTube. And then that video, instead of getting 30 views and one reply, and you've not replied to it, it could have 35 and 40 views because you keep inviting the person back when you're replying, and maybe eight or nine replies much better statistics, more attention time, YouTube are more likely to go, this did fairly well, maybe rank it a little bit higher based on your keywords, and then it's a positive loop moving upwards. Also, it builds a community. The amount of people that are in the comment section down below that I see all of the time, it's fantastic. I love seeing the same faces, 50, 100 of you, that pop in every now and then to say hello, right? And you've been with me since day one, and that is what you need to build, a community. Three. Now, once you've replied and stuff, here's a little tip to bring them back. Now, if you've uploaded a video, say today at nine o'clock in the morning, and then it gets around about nine o'clock in the evening, some people might not notice that that video's there, or some people may have commented, but then forgotten to go and watch the video, or they've commented on other videos of yours. Go back into the comments of your channel, either on the app or on the desktop version, and start clicking like or hearts next to the comments. What this does is it either alerts them on desktop, someone's liked your post, someone's liked your comment, or in the case of hearts, it will even send them out an email saying, Alan's hearted your comment, right? In which that's more likely to bring that person back to see what comment it was. Maybe have a look at that video again. Or if that was on an older video, they might go and have a look at your newest video. It's kind of a way of cheekily sending out your own notifications from YouTube because YouTube sucks at doing so. Four, focus on watch time and retention. Now, to grow a YouTube channel, YouTube needs the ability to understand that your video is useful, that it's helpful, that people want to watch it, it's entertaining. You might have a video that's about five minutes long and they hit that video and you've titled it something really sexy. I don't know, free adult donuts with porn star. 
right? And everyone's really happy, and there's a nice, fantastic thumbnail, and they click on it, and oh, you're cooking with cucumber. That's not what I wanted. Click off. What that says to YouTube is that, oh, it's a fantastic title, fantastic description, fantastic thumbnail, but it's not what we wanted. It's, it's doing something wrong and it will downrank that video because it's, it, the retention's wrong. But if you have a good thumbnail, a good description, a good title, and you deliver on what you promise, maybe even mention what you're promising in the title in the first 10, 15 seconds of the video, like I do on my, my hooks, that sets up that user to see that video, search for that video, get confirmation that that video is about what they were hunting for, and then they'll watch for longer. Whilst they're also watching, you might want to shake it up a bit. Like, if I was just stood here all the time, not moving, slightly monotone, always just staring at the camera, nothing pops up on screen, you're just gonna get bored. What I do is jump around the screen a little bit. The reason for that is it helps me with jump cut editing, but it's also slightly more entertaining. I also add text down here where I put images overlays or videos when I mention other YouTubers. This breaks it up a little bit. This also means that it entertains your brain, it makes you want to watch it a little longer, even if the information was already what you was hunting for anyway. If they've then watched the video for three minutes and the video is five minutes long, that's over 50% retention, that's really good. YouTube likes that, so that it thinks clearly the title and the description match, so therefore they wanted to watch it, so this must be helpful for the people that are there. They've even commented, ta-da, we'll rank it a little bit higher than the other ones that were just clickbait, and it slowly pushes it up, and the clickbait slowly disappears. And finally, number five, the best secret of them all that anybody can do is just to keep improving. You will not be able to strap on your trainers from day one and sprint an Olympic gold in the 100 meters. Usain Bolt couldn't do it and he had years and years of practice and he finally got it in the end. So start creating videos, put them up, be patient but keep improving. Have a look at your last video. Was the audio bad? Was the lighting bad? Did you stutter? Did you um? Did you oh were you a bit monotone? Did you not edit? Have a look at those, critique them honestly and then you can look at them yourself and go Okay, I didn't like that lighting. I'll change that lighting. The microphone was a bit tinny. I need to move it away or I need to move it closer. I need to get a clip lapel mic, that kind of thing. You wouldn't accept it from any other YouTuber. It would drive you mental if it was in, in portrait mode for like world star hip hop, right? So why do it yourself? If you tweak one thing every time you make a video, on your hundredth video, you'll be a hundred times better than your first. And improving can be simply down to just watching more and more tricks and tips videos. There's a playlist up here. But those are my five secrets for growing a YouTube channel, my YouTube growth hacks. For more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and hack videos. Hit that notification icon so you're alerted every time I go live and every time my videos are pushed out to the stream so it's not lost. Go up there, start creating.